You are not the new Naomi Campbell. Don't compare yourself to me. You're not on my level. All right, y'all. As I last reported, your girl Zillia Banks took it to social media to say that she was, quote unquote, low key raped. And, you know, that was a couple days or so ago. And now we have some updated information, courtesy of all places, media takeout. However, let me just say this. They have her actual tweets from Twitter. So this is not just an, an article that they just made up out of nowhere, okay? The media takeout article is titled, Azalea Banks, I was raped by a white Wall Street guy. Gives full details. Here's what they wrote. Two days ago, female rapper Azalea Banks told fans that she was raped. At the time, she gave very little details on what happened. Well, now she's talking. Previously, on Saturday morning, now they're referring to Saturday, April 14th of 2018. Previously, on Saturday morning, the 26-year-old rapper slash singer posted and quickly deleted on her Instagram story. On Saturday, Media Takeout reported that according to Azalea, she was attacked and was on her way to the police office headquarters at the time this article was posted. The 212 rapper told fans that the man who she claims assaulted her is a quote, white Wall Street guy. Azalea claims that the two of them drank a lot together, but Azalea believes that she was drugged. Here is the rap princess's full account of what happened. All right, so they posted the tweets and this is what she said. Now this is posted on April 16th of 2018. My health is okay, guys. There was no skin to skin contact, was completely cognizant until around 7.30 a.m. I think the drugging started around 3 a.m. and ramped up at 6.30 a.m. Wow, 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, anyways, lots of intimidation and coercion but I think he may have drugged himself too. I was alert enough to make sure there were condoms, plus GHB made my P word so dry, there was no real penetration. Just a dumb white, listen, just a dumb white NYC financial district druggard wrestling me around and trying to keep up. Wow, I won the war because I got him out before the drugs really hit. I had no clue what was going on, which is why I was crying on Insta story. Once I threw him out, I thought I was just drunk. I went on Instagram to, wow, to Kai on uh, SZA. I don't understand what that means. I went on Instagram to Key or Ka Ki on SZA. Then after I keyed, Kai, I, I, I don't know what the heck she's talking about. Somebody please let me know what Ki means. Then after I kaied on her, my hands stopped working and I was crying and panicking with one Insta story button. No shade. The Insta story button saved my life. My friends and family showed up and nursed me so that I had hydration, food and stimuli to keep me conscious. That GHB sh is no joke. Can't believe people do that stuff recreationally. Well, we all know who does it recreationally. Anyways. They say people who manufacture GHB usually don't do it right, so it's always <laughs> at some crazy pH level, which lends its hand to easy soft tissue damage, although upon research, there are many other ways to be quote-unquote drugged, which don't induce notable side effects. If you wake up the next morning after night of partying, and you feel like you've been GHB'd, you can definitely tell by how your throat feels. If you feel pins and needles in your throat after waking up, you've definitely been GHB, but apparently that's only for GHB. Just be safe in these streets. It's a cold world. She also said the following, I guess this was on Instagram. She said, my body was okay yesterday. Now my spirits are coming back intact, smiling again, ready for the show tonight. Who is coming? Okay. And the media takeout finished off the article by saying, page six reported the incident as well and says that after the incident azalea said quote i just feel so dirty and stupid right now you know we were just hanging out and one thing led to another she said i just feel really dumb because it was partially my fault i'm just like sitting here like feeling effing low in in s-h-i-t i just want to effing disappear right now end quote the horrible incident comes after azalea inked a one million dollar record deal Earlier this month, Azealia also released a new song called Anna Wintour. We're not sure if charges, in capital letters, 
had been filed with the police department. Banks did not name her alleged rapist in her Instagram story. It seems as if she's doing better now because that's what she said her fans in an Instagram story. Not that's what she said to her fans, but that's what she said her fans in an Instagram story. So media take out uh, once again coming in with the typos. But then again, my life is a typo and my fat ass needs lipo. So, you know, but anyways, now let's just get a couple uh, a couple things straight here because there's a lot of just really interesting stuff. Let, let me let me bring it back. So first of all. She was hanging out with some white dude who was a uh, dumb white New York City financial district drugger, according to her um, tweets. So one thing led to another, blah, blah, blah. And then he allegedly sexually assaulted her. Allegedly. Um, a lot of this doesn't make sense to me. For example, why are you going on Instagram story and talking about it's the Instagram story button saved your life? You need to be talking to the police in, instead of um, going on Instagram and kying or keying or whatever with SZA, the singer. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Is this all for attention or was she actually assaulted? I'm really, really starting to wonder now because it, it really doesn't make any damn sense. It's just really... <laughs> I, I really I really don't understand it. it it's, it's actually pretty mind boggling the more and more I'm thinking about it like none of it makes any sense she didn't uh, it doesn't seem like she mentioned anything about the uh, rather about you know pressing charges or whatever since she claims that she's remember she claims she was assaulted guys but then again I mean if you know anything about the things that she said on social media you know what did she, she called a black girl a tar baby one time um she got into it with wale and she was like yeah you know i want black men to go to jail i think she said that she wanted black men to black men to die as well so you know she's a swirler well as we can see she's really about that swirl life and um she was talking about how uh black men basically ain't shit and uh you know white men put black women on a pedestal and all this other stuff and uh yeah, so I'm not surprised it was a white dude. You know, she puts him on a pedestal. She thinks he puts her on a pedestal. But instead, he was allegedly trying to put a pedestal in your glass. Maybe not a pedestal, but you know what I mean. But anyways, y'all, what do you think about this nutbag Azalea Banks? Do you think she's actually telling the truth? Or is she just trying to promote her music, just trying to get attention? Um... Have you ever heard of anybody being assaulted and then the first thing they think is, huh, I'm going to go hop on Instagram live. I'm going to go contact SZA. See what that heifer's up to. I mean, do you believe this or or what? I mean, it's, it, it, I, I really I don't really don't even know how to take this story. I just know that my head is spinning. I, I feel like somebody put some some GHB in my Kool-Aid or something. I don't even drink Kool-Aid. I'm not I'm not like you Negroes. I'm just joking with you. But seriously, though, I really wonder, though, like uh, how much truth is in her statements, like whether or not she's just telling her truth or if what she's saying is just, you know, completely made up <laughs> for attention or to sell records. I, I really can't call this one, guys. That's why I need your help because you're much smarter than me. All right, nigglets. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe. To the Meat Magazine YouTube channels, visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Hit that notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts to be notified when new videos get posted. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. And what do you think about Azalea Banks and this situation uh, with, you know, her allegedly <laughs> uh, being assaulted. I mean, do you think that she's just saying this just to get attention or what? And don't forget, I am not a blogger. Now, a lot of people running around falsely claiming that I'm a blogger. I don't know why they would, you know, put false information like that out there, but it's not true. I'm actually an, an entertainer. I'm just an entertainer with a microphone who has a few things to say. But anyways, let me know what y'all think about it below. All right, Meat Magazine. Ooh, it's a, y'all know that pussy stank. <laughs>
I know that pussy stinking, girl. 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 I know that pussy stinking